Shalom, 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 shalom. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody doing well. What's going on? I told you to get. I told you to get a bag. Well, well, you need to get. I need to pour some water on it. Well, then you need to get some water. I told you you should have brought a bag. Shalom, shalom. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. What's going on? We are getting ready. I want to get y'all some update information. If y'all don't know by now, uh, Pop Up Shabbat will be kicking off in February in Orlando, Florida. So we got a boom. Pop up Shabbat going down in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's going down on the 11th of February. So y'all get ready for that. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, we have so many people that've been hitting us up, emailing over the past two years uh, about Orlando and Orlando Assembly. So we got some things coming down the pipe. We're getting ready for that. The Most High is opening up doors left and right. So uh, we getting ready for that. But first. We getting ready for tomorrow. We are ready for tomorrow. Hey, sign, close the door. We are getting ready or we are ready for tomorrow. If you don't know, if you've been under a rock somewhere, Jeremiah 23 and three is tomorrow. It kicks off on tomorrow. Right here in Carterville, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, man, uh, 214 Nelson, street it is going to be a unity worship center so it's going down man um uh, if you got your tickets um be ready make sure make sure and i want you to spread the word to anybody that has tickets already make sure that you have on your phone okay you want to have on your phone you want to have an access to your ticket, okay? Because when you get to that door, we're gonna be needing to see that receipt, that 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 ticket, that ticket. All right. So you can have it on an email. You can have it. Um, something it should be on your phone. Um, some type of way on your phone. Uh, I know some of you because we opened it up because a lot of people hit us up at the last minute saying that they waited to the last minute. And they didn't get their ticket or whatever the situation may be we open it up for everybody um to be able to purchase their ticket even though it was closed we open it up to be able to you can send in a cash app and in the subject line put jeremiah 23 and 3 conference uh if you wanted to purchase your ticket uh, for yourself or if you have uh teenagers that are um um 18 years and up um, You want to make sure you purchase their ticket as well as an adult uh, if you have tickets from um, If you have teenagers from 13 to 17 years old what to do minister case in the building 13 to 17 years old you want to make sure that you cop their ticket uh, is $15 um, and at the door if you are a person that is coming and you don't have a ticket if you don't have a ticket through Cash App, which I would, you know, would preference you go ahead and get your ticket beforehand. Um, if you don't have it through Cash App, we will be accepting people at the door. Okay, what's going on? Uh, Stay on Fire Ministries. What's going on? Um, if you do roll up to the conference, we will be taking. Uh, you can purchase your ticket at the door, but preferably. You want to be able to have your ticket either on a cash app receipt, okay? Um, is there any way, any other way I can purchase your album? Um, no, the only way we have it, we have it set up through Bandcamp. Um, the link should be in the community section um, to be able to to be able to cop the album um, on there uh, through Bandcamp. Uh, Shalom to uh, Sister Alexander, Alexandria. Um, but again, once again, for the conference, listen, if you have not purchased your ticket, if you have purchased a ticket, make sure that you, when you get to that door, 
make sure you have because we are going to be wristbanding. We will be wristbanding those whoever comes in and have purchased their ticket. We will be wristbanding you to make sure that we know that you, you already purchased your stuff so that way you'll get a wristband. Um, whether you purchase at the door, whether you purchase through Cash App, or you purchase um, through um, Eventbrite. All right. So, also, I want to give y'all some information. If those of y'all that don't know, if you have not gotten an email, uh, we sent out an email through Eventbrite to all those that purchased event, uh, information on Eventbrite. Um, the conference is going to start tomorrow with our classes on tomorrow at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. will be the start of our classes. We will have speakers on tomorrow uh, at 11 a.m. And then um, um, the service will start Friday night at 7 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. Uh, Shalom, Sister Katura. Um, also, on Saturday morning, we will have classes on Saturday morning as well at 10 a.m. Okay, 10 a.m. will be the start of the classes. Make sure you be on time because we will start the classes on time. We are a we are all about making sure that we handle the pra our business practically by being on time. Okay, if you're a speaker, if you're a performer, don't make sure that you are on. Make sure, make sure if you're a speaker or performer, you should be there before time. All right, if the, if this conference starts at seven, you should not be rolling up at no seven o'clock. Okay. If you are a speaker or performer and the conference starts at seven, you should not be rolling up. Okay. All right. Uh, I forgot to call you, but just wanted to let you know we have a Hebrew community and our next. Okay. All right. Hit me up. Um, uh, stay on five minutes. Give me a call. Give me a call. Give me a call. You can call me today. I'm free today. Free all day today. Um, listen, man. So, um, if you are a performer or a speaker and you are attending this conference, okay, uh, at our next time is to take to take it to assembly. So I will come. All right, contact me. Contact me. Uh, uh, stay on fire. Um, listen. So I want to say this again. I'm going to stress this. Do not be walking up in the conference like you know, unless it's just a dire emergency. And if it's an emergency. Make sure you hit me up and say, hey, uh, Bishop, Moray, Dr. Brown, whatever, whatever, however you want it, whatever you, however you want to say it, you know, hey, man, my tire flat, hey, man, da, 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 something. Don't just roll up in. It's disrespectful to roll up into a conference that is that is featuring you. OK, Let, we have some protocol here. OK, it is. It is horribly disrespectful to roll up in a conference that is featuring you and you you show up late. That is horrible. I'm talking to performers and speakers. It is disrespectful. It ain't disrespectful. Okay. Wait. So, yes, tickets are still available. You can get them um, at dollar sign, boom, church, and in the subject line, put jeremiah 23 and 3 so that way you'll know that way when you show up to the door you can show your ticket you can give us your cash app whatever it is show us your cash app information and that way you can still come so we will be taking you can purchase before you get here and you can purchase at the door okay so we take we uh, uh either way go either way go you can still purchase okay all right so I want to still talk to these artists and speakers because this is disrespectful. This is how you don't get invited anywhere else again. When you show up late without informing someone and many of you, many of you other young leaders and young ministers and speakers, and I'm going, I'm just talking, especially with me, especially with me. Okay. Especially with me. If you no call, no show, if you show up late, without any type of reason or excuse, without contacting me or something, I don't, I just don't deal with that. I don't have time for that. It's disrespectful. Especially again, it's featuring you. It's a platform speech. 
that is just not that's not it's not respectful. And 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 um even in our ministry, I'm I do not believe in if we got guests, I don't believe in our leadership showing up after the guests have gotten there. That is disrespectful, not just to me, but that is disrespectful to the most high because this is his work and his business. So I'm talking to all of you inspiring speakers, teachers, leaders, more rate, all that type of stuff. Okay. All right. Talking to all of y'all. All right. So just want to help you out on that. Anyway, so on Saturday morning, class will start at 10 a.m. Um, at um, Saturday evening, service will start at 6 p.m. When I say classes, I'm talking about it's going to be straight teaching, classes, Q&A sessions. Service, we will be worshiping. Okay? We will be worshiping. So don't try, if you ain't, if you, you know, I know how some of us are. We'll show up, try to show up after worship. You don't know how the worship going to flow with us because we're, we move how the most high move. So, um, but we will have worship. We will have artist performances. We will have speakers. We will have Q&A sessions. We have all these, all those things. So um, just be there, get ready. All right, let me do this dress code thing. All right. The classes, morning day classes, the day sessions is dress down. I want y'all to share this video. All right. I want y'all whoa, 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 whoa. I want y'all to like this video and I want y'all to share this video. Okay. I want you to like this video and share anybody that you know that is attending this, if attending the conference. All right. And I will be sending out another email. Okay. Okay. The day classes, morning sessions is dress down. Okay. Meaning if you got sweats on, just listen, make sure your dress down is tight though. All right. And here's what I mean is just make sure it's decent and in order. Just make sure it's decent in order. You can wear sweatpants. You can wear slides. You can wear sneakers. You can wear a t-shirt, whatever it is. Just Dress down, dress comfortable. All right, but also just be ready to come learn. It's, it's it's class, it's day sessions. Okay, so just make sure you come ready, dress down. You know, you feel good, you look good. You know that type of stuff. But you dress down. All right, you dress down. Evening session, evening services, is dress up. Okay, you dress up in the evening. Cultural or Sunday's best. Cultural or Sunday's best. Cultural, wear it, dress up. You know, sisters, if you want to wear your hair wraps, you can wear your hair wraps. If you don't have your hair wraps, don't worry about it. Okay? If, you know, if you, brothers, if you got fringes on, rock your fringes. If you don't got fringes, don't worry about it. Okay? What's going on, Brother Michael? Shalom to you. All right? Just come, like if you're going dressed up for. You know, a whole lot of us that went to see Wakanda, we dressed up in our in our cultural attire. It's the same thing. So in the evening sessions, you dress up. Sunday's best. You got a tie, you got a suit, whatever. You dress up. I ain't saying wear no tuxedo and all that. Dumb. You ain't got to be double breasted. I'm just saying, just make sure you, you know, dress nice. If you don't have if you don't have a suit on and a tie, that's fine. You can wear some jeans. You know what I'm saying? With a jacket or a blazer or something. Just dress, just dress, just dress like you coming somewhere decent, nice, okay? That's all I'm saying. Just want to help y'all out, all right? So that's it with the dress code. Any other questions, all right? If you have any questions, of course, my email, everybody got my email um, and whatnot. And so we're going to be having a great, awesome time. Come ready, come to fellowship. Um, you know, we... Every conference that we do, we always we always handle our business top notch. All right, we always handle our business top notch. So just know, those of you who have been to conferences before, y'all know how we get down. Y'all know even when we have our feast days, y'all know how we get down. 
Um, we believe in excellence for the most high. We believe in representing the most high in a great way. We don't believe in throwing nothing together. We believe in being on time. We believe in making sure that we have time to fellowship, love on people, and make sure that people have a great experience. That's what it's all about. All this other stuff, we don't believe in the shabby, all that other stuff, man. I, I was never like that even before, you know, walking in this truth. You know, um, I believe in making sure that everything is top notch. So that's what we're going to do, all right? Works are going to be off the chain. All right, so be on the lookout uh, for the artists that will be performing. And uh, I will, uh, just can't wait to see y'all, man. Can't wait to see y'all. Some of y'all are going to be my first time meeting. Can't wait to hug on y'all. Can't wait to, you know, share. And I can't wait to speak to y'all, too. Um, I have a word from the Most High that I want to share uh, with the community uh, to make sure that we stand in line. Jeremiah 23 and 3, the remnant is coming together. So all the speakers have some great word for y'all. I don't need, I don't know what their messages are, um, but I just trust the Most High. I've been doing this for quite some time. And um, I know that he um, he hasn't failed us yet when it comes down to our conferences and things like that. So keep us in prayer. Uh, this year, 2023, we will be expanding. We will be coming to Nashville, Tennessee. Pop up Shabbat, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I just had a phone call. Uh, so I'm having several phone calls with Christian pastors. Okay, let me say that. Uh, with Christian pastors. Uh, and so they are opening their doors uh, to this. Um, and this is an awesome opportunity. Uh, the Most High, um, uh, the where we're having the conference at, it is a um, a kind of, I, I would use the term, a Judeo, all right, uh, Christian uh, congregation, all right? Um, I will say that. Others, uh, more traditional, Dallas-Fort Worth, we will be, uh having the conference there i mean the uh we'll be having a pop-up shabbat in dallas fort worth coming soon uh we will be in the dmv i will be in the dmv at least three times this year orlando will be kicking off the next month february the 11th uh just keep us in prayer uh nashville tennessee uh we coming uh we're gonna have that set up i spoke with a a, a christian pastor there uh who heard about me uh, and so I've been building with him and we will be setting a date for Nashville uh, coming up and uh, others have reached, been reaching out. Um, the word is traveling and spreading uh, to many other Christian pastors and leaders who want to talk, who have questions, uh, their congregation have questions. And so when I go to Maryland, um, uh, to Baltimore, Maryland uh, here, uh, shout out also to uh, uh, Apostle Bishop Palmer, uh, who's bringing me to Maryland. Um, he he his congregation is still is a christian congregation he is embracing himself being an israelite um and so he wants me to teach his congregation about passover and the feast days as well as the shabbat uh and so i will be going to maryland teaching them uh about that and uh there's a lot of things coming up so this year 2023 uh boom we have a lot going on a lot of evangelism going on a lot of uh, discipling going on and our congregations are experiencing a lot of growth uh, we have uh, more visitors in this season than we've had uh, since the beginning of boom and our passover many have been reaching out shout out to all of y'all who are reaching out already our passover is in april here in atlanta and we have so many people reaching out asking about information for passover uh, you should be seeing something about that next week we will be having that up on the website for you to be able to go and book your rooms as well as purchase your Passover tickets. That will be coming. So keep us in prayer uh, as we continue to do this mighty great work that Yah has called us to do. And uh, shout out to the Most High and his Ruach that is with us here at Boom Believers of One Messiah. So we got it going on, we got it popping. It's a lot of work to do, a lot of prayer, a lot of fasting, uh, but we are qualified and called and we're equipped to do it, we handle it. So see y'all tomorrow and see y'all Saturday. I'm excited. Lady Emma can't wait to meet many of you uh, as well. And uh, hey, always remember to check out that website, believers of uh, boomchurchint.org. Uh, uh, if you're looking for Shabbat locations, uh, if you would like to be a part of the Boom family and you are a congregation, or you have a small group and you want to be a part of our, our growing community, um, definitely uh, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, we, we will pray about it corporately, uh, collectively uh, as well. 
And if, it, if it's the most high's will and it's a fit, that's what he wants, then we welcome you with open arms, all right? So don't forget, too, uh, next week we will start school, uh, Harvest Reapers uh, School uh, Bible Institute will start next week. I am excited about it. Many of you have signed up, and uh, I can't wait to walk you through this bachelor's degree program uh, and help you get an understanding theologically uh, to make sure that you have an understanding of full scope of history, uh, the Bible, theology, um, the history of Israel, who we are as a people, uh, as well as um, all the stuff, all the stuff that you hear about, uh, people talk about, um, and we're a Bible college. We thank the Most High for the favor. Uh, we don't have to worry about somebody controlling us on what we can teach and can, and you will be uh, I can't wait for all of you. My Ultimately, I can't wait for all of you to grow uh, and get understanding of how to look at the Bible, how to look at it historically, know how things came together, get an understanding of things, understanding law, grace, Torah, Mashiach, Moshe, uh, all of the great things, understanding the, the spirit behind the law, why the Most High gave it, uh, why was that, what was the purpose, the people, the places, who was all involved, the historical, most of y'all are y'all Tim Boom, y'all know how we teach it, Boom. And so uh, we're bringing a whole dynamic to Harvest Reapers. Uh, we have Christians and Israelites who have signed up, and so we're excited about that. Um, and ultimately, I cannot wait to see many of you walk across the stage with your bachelor's in theology, okay? And then if it's the most high will and if it's your desire to move on to the master's degree program to get your master's in theology and ultimately get your doctorate, okay? So thank you all, man. Listen, don't forget to hit me up. You can hit me up in my email if you're interested in the school. If you still want to come to the conference, you can, I give you the information. Go back and watch the video if you're just not joining from the beginning. Send me an email. We're going to make sure you are set and ready to go. All right. Shalom, shalom, salama, shalom, and shalom to you all. Grace, peace, and many blessings. I look forward to seeing you all again on tomorrow. All right. Blessings to you. Shalom.